everybody. Welcome to the Crossover Talk Show. I'm your host, Travis Garrison, where we talk about sports and life. Got a special guest with me today. Got Miss Tasha Rice, author. How you doing? I'm good in yourself. <laughs> I'm doing pretty good. I'm pretty good. Uh, how's everything going? Good. Everything's going real good. Um, I guess the sun's shining and everything else is great. So, I mean, you can't get mad at that. <laughs> where, where, where you at right now? Where you living at right now? Where you at? I, I live in Jacksonville, Florida. Oh, you good. You got the weather. You got good weather year round. You you got that nice weather. I don't know. I don't know. Right now they call this hurricane season. So you know the oh, hurricanes wow, yeah. come through. So it's kind of weird because like around this time of season, people think it's all hot, nice, and sunny. And it is. Right. Right. It's just that you gotta watch out for the notifications when them hurricanes come around because <laughs> they come. <coming. laughs> that, 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 that's I guess that's the downside of living in Florida in the sense of yeah, I, I got that good weather, but you gotta deal with the you know the hurricanes and things like that, right? Yeah, but it, it doesn't last that long. I mean, it, it's pretty much what everybody think it is. It's very nice, hot, sunny all year round for the most part. I mean, it gets cool, but it's nothing right. like you know snow and all that stuff up north where i'm used to so <laughs> <laughs> yeah absolutely so, so so your author so mm-hmm. what 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 this what made you become a writer because i'm i i uh, published a number of books and the process of it all is not the easiest people thing like people are like oh i want to write a book but then you got it's the it's the it's the process of writing now i'm not a fan of writing my brain s- tends to <laughs> go faster than my pen so it's like all jumbled up. So what's so how did you even get into it? Made you want to become a writer? That's a good question. Um, it started with my husband, actually. Um, wow. he is the one behind me or pushing me forward to do this. I mm-hmm. like writing and I didn't realize how much I like writing. I just was kind of writing around, you know, just kind of I doodle a lot. And then right. writing became a thing. I actually started off with poetry is where I started. Wow. And um, it came from him, actually. He used to uh, rap. And okay. so yeah. when we were younger, this and when I'm speaking of this, I'm speaking like 20 years ago now. Wow. <laughs> this, was a, <laughs> this, was like go, this was like in the making. So 20 years ago, my husband was a part of a group and he used to rap all the time when we first met. And so mm. he would go to the studio and they would record and all that wonderful stuff. And, you know, like he would let me listen to it, little samples and stuff that they would, you know, rap about. And I'm like, oh, okay, you know, that's like, you know, we talk about, you know, I'm in the hip hop. So we talk about, you know, hip hop all the time and listen to bars right. and stuff and all that. So one day while he was out, I think he might've been recording or whatever. I'm watching Love Jones, Love, Love Jones. And I'm alone there and I'm like, I can do that. You know, I can do that. He, ain't, he ain't that good. I can do that. Right. <laughs> Right. You know, everybody think they can do everything. So. Hey, I thought so too. I thought watching Love Jones. I was like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be. Oh man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get into that. I, be, I can do that. I can yeah. do that. And so that's where it happened. I was like, you know, I could do that. So I actually put pen to paper, and I didn't realize by putting pen to paper how good I was. I was like, oh, I can really do this, and I just kept writing, <laughs> and the words just flowed, and it was very interesting. And so I let my husband read it, and he was like. You can you he said you could do this? I'm like, yeah, he like, okay, you need to do some more. So I kept writing mm-hmm. and I wrote a few poems and it went from there. And I didn't even know that I would could write a book. It was one of those things like, I probably could write a book too. You know, if I can do right, poetry, right. I can write a book. And right. one day I sat down and I just wrote whatever was going on at that time in my head, it just came to paper and then a story right, was right. developing. And so that's this book that is out now is the same book that I started. It's my very, very first book. And that's what people don't really understand. It's like, wait a minute, this is your, my very first book I ever put pen wow. the paper on is this book. So, wow. Wow. <laughs> so that was the interesting part. I mean, it, it developed along the way, of course, because I'm very much older than what I was then. Like I said, that was 20 mm-hmm. years ago, but I, um, went through a spell, you know, I wrote the book and then I'm like, yeah, I'll get back to it. Mm -hmm. Um, that type of deal and basically I picked it up a few times I revised it I put it back down again and then I went through a big long period of not even looking at it and it was my husband again and he said um where's that book at that you've been writing about you know why aren't you I was like yeah I'm gonna get it I'm gonna get to it and then just one day I was like you know what I'm about to do it and I sat there with that book and when as soon as I got to pen the paper again 
it flowed. And it was a whole different perspective at this time because like I said, that was 20 years ago, but I still kept the concept and I kept it going. And so that's where we're at. (laughs) And that's how I got started. (laughs) So, so, and that obviously, I mean, you kind of of said in the sense of you took a break because I know a lot of times people say, you know, get the writer's block and then, you know, and then the motivation behind it too, you know, because even Mm when, you know, it, I started something years ago and it didn't really come to fruition until like, I think I started my last book. I started the process. I wanted to make it to a curriculum, but I started that like in 2010 and mm-hmm. I just published it, what, 2019, but I didn't know yeah. what it was supposed to be. Yeah. So it was like what you say in the sense of, yeah. you know, you want something. I started to try to write an, uh, another book, uh, my second book. I was starting that and then I just, that I just man, I can't. I'm 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 taking a break. And so it's like what you said in the sense of like sometimes you you gotta put it down and come back with fresh eyes and really, you know, go over again or need that motivation again. Like cause it's yeah, you know, it's, it's special, you know. So yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was it was interesting and 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 it was a lot of too trying to get out of my own way. It was like, you know, I kept putting it off, you know, it's like, right, yeah, right. you know, and then all of a sudden it was like when well, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do it. Right. And right. it worked. So I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, and and I and I read like the little snippet of it, and it it sounds very interesting, intriguing. What made you come up with so the title of your book, The Code Keepers? Uh, yes, I got the book here, so this yeah. is it. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it's the Code Keepers. It was um, like I said, I was in, I was probably around 24, 25 years old, and like I said, my husband was rapping at the time, and I had an idea of having a female be a rapper in this book and of course concepts of how i wanted her to go the directions all the characters Mm. came about as i kept writing and so it was just um man it was like um i'm gonna go ahead and go with a female because of course i'm a female made it easier for me but then as i kept going along a lot of other characters became easier for me to write about so (laughs) so it was kind of great but but that's where i started i started with her and i just kept it going and it was um it was one of those, like I said, it changed periodically because the direction mm-hmm. I was going to go with it then, of course, changed for me because I changed. And, you know, my life right, changed right. and things that right, diff- right. were different. And so, but I did want it to be an impactful book. I wanted it to be something that I can grab you into it and then also teach you or or have you walk along with me on this journey. Right. And right. it was more of a, a concept of, um, as I kept writing, I wanted to be, I wanted it to be uh, intriguing and I wanted it to be something that I wanted to leave something behind. You know what I mean? Right. Like kind of, yes. you know, have you thinking about some things and that was what this book was going to be about. And I was like, well, I, first I have to reel you in first. So I'm going to get right. real ratchet and ghetto. We're going to do the whole everything in the beginning right. and right. we're going to have all the violence and all that wonderful stuff. Right. And then we're going to get into some real good stuff. And I wanted right. to do that. And I thought that was a, a good book to start off with, you know, especially when I wanted to make this book a series, because that's right. basically right. what I was leaning towards. So, but wow. yeah. That's, so that's, that's very, like, yeah, so, so, and that's, like I said, that's very interesting, and even when I was reading, I was like, wow, I was like, this could be, a, like, a, a show, a movie, or something like that, <laughs> have you ever thought, have you thought about that, I know you're still trying to get the series done first, but I know sometimes a lot of authors have a tendency, or would, you know, turn their books into movies, or shows, and when I was reading this, I was like, this, this is very interesting, like, it's, it's, it's because of, you know, where I come from, what I know, and know about, and then, you know, about which is about secrets and and you know and then how they all coming out and and this is it's, it's very interesting and it's something that you just kind of like made up or something like you kind of like experienced or like seeing like how does you know well I, it's act it's definitely made up um but yeah. i wanted to sit like i told you i listen to a lot of hip-hop so i wanted to mm-hmm. make sure i put a lot of different type of concepts and stories that I hear right, from right. rappers and, and even from individuals that you read about some things from my husband, because he wasn't always a stand-up dude. Right, right. <laughs> and, and then some right. of the things are from him being a stand-up guy, you know? So right. a lot of my, um, 
things that you hear from the guy's perspective come from my own personal experience growing up with a lot of guys. Like yeah. I have a, I have a huge family on my on mom and dad's side and I grew up with a lot of boy cousins. So they right. all went through, we all basically grew up together. So everybody right. has their own stories and concepts and backgrounds. Mm -hmm. And we talked a lot. And, mm -hmm. um, um, and also from my experience in college and things like that, I've, I've uh, been around a lot of guys and a lot of guys do a lot of things. And, and so th those type of things came into play when I was writing the book. So right. that's what made it interesting for me. So it was just like, and it was just coming out the blue. That's what made it even bad. I'm like, oh my God, I'm like, I can remember all this stuff. So, wow. but, <laughs> but it's definitely a fictional book. It's nothing from nobody in particular. It's just... Right some type of characters that have come to the forefront that I wanted to bring to light. And I right. thought, I tried to make sure that they were relatable. And that was the right. real big thing for me. I was like, I want people to actually think that they know these people. Like these people are right. like, I know this person. Like I've seen somebody like this. And if you mm -hmm. don't, then I want you to experience a person that you probably have never met before. Right. And right. so that was what my whole purpose was for the characters in the book. And some of them got, got some good uh, things I got from like, you know, older people when I grew up. Right. Like my, I've, I've also been around a lot of older people. So that made it a very interesting way to introduce some older people because a lot of people to me these days, like younger people don't experience an older person around a lot. So I wanted to Absolutely. make sure I brought that. So but no, yeah, that's no. where that came from. <laughs> <laughs> now that's, a, that's amazing because like I said, you know, like when it comes to that, that type of book, you have to create the characters. And like you said, you have to, pull the audience in and, and keep their attention because it's a book, you know, yeah. and, you know, uh, creating storylines and, you know, creating these different characters that the, that the, um, that the audience, you know, either love or hate or like just the, like, despise, you know what I mean? And, 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 and that's, like I said, some of the characters, like I said, just reading knew what I was reading. I was just like, like, wow. Okay. I can see, I can see how, then like you said, how it's, after, it's one thing after another like it, it kind of wraps you in deeper it's something deeper than this now now you it's something more getting exposed so and you said it's supposed to be a you want to make it like a three series book i believe or ah. you don't know you don't you don't there is you don't i have no idea yeah i'm just gonna roll with it it's like the characters talk to me a lot and I just put them to paper and and to answer your question about the movie thing yes now I'm I have a real funny story and my editor is probably going to be like yep this is she could probably vouch for this so when I originally wrote this book and I presented it to my editor she went through my my pages and was like omg because I, I've never written a book before but and I, the type of person I am I like thinking outside the box. And sometimes I can get a little bit too outside the box. Right, so right. I said, so I told myself, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna write a book and just make it a whole big movie. And that was the, that was the concept behind this wow. book. I actually visualized the movie when I was writing this book. So that's where wow. it was coming from. It was all straight dialogue through the whole book. Wow. And I probably had a little bit of writing in between it, but I presented it to my editor as a manuscript. And she wow. looked at my man, she looked at my book and she said, um, this is not a book. This is a manuscript. Wow. <laughs> and I laughed and I was like, Yeah, it is a manuscript. So she was wow. like, Yeah. She said, We're gonna have to do a lot of, you know, basically More. constructing and making this into a book. And right. I, I took a lot of her advice and it turned out to be good. I was like, you know, I can write around this. Like I just was trying to be different. You know, like yeah, of course. I thought I was going to do something just extravagant. <laughs> she was just going to be like, oh yeah, this is wonderful. I ain't right. never wrote a book ever. So how am I going to tell her like, yeah, you know, this is great. Right. Right. I'm going to do it like this. But she, she was, she was real patient with me and she was just like, yeah, no, you're going to have to change this. If you want to make this a book, you have to make it a book. So it was made like a movie because I was thinking movie. And when I wrote it, I was like, okay, well, I'm a, I can write around this. I can make this into a book. And that's basically where it came from. But yeah, I wanted to make this a movie and yeah. I will still do. <laughs> yeah, I mean, a lot of people are doing, I mean, think about all the, a lot of the, a lot of the movies that are out or coming out, I mean, it's based on a book series and, you know, so like, why not? Yeah, you know I mean? yeah why not? Everybody else is doing it. <laughs> Everybody else is doing it. So can you yeah. tell us a little bit about some of these characters without, you know, giving, I know you don't want to give too much and kind of like what the, <laughs> So can you tell us a little bit, like give us like a, about some of these characters that uh, the audience we're gonna read in this book? Oh, sure. Uh, well, the main character, we'll start with her. Her name is Aisha. Um, she's a single mom. And basically she's in high school. She's her senior year. She's, wow. um, 
she's gone through a lot of things in life. Her dad passed away um, a, a few years back and she's still trying to cope with that. Um, her and her dad, she was real close to him. Um, he taught her a lot about life. Um, he's an ex-military guy and he was a stand-up dude. And he knew having a daughter that he needed to basically teach her how to protect herself, how to walk mm. through life, how to, you know, know how to walk through the street she was going through because right, in, right. in her street, she's in a community, not a very nice community. And, mm. um, but at the same time, he was letting her know that there's some nice people and good people in that neighborhood and that she needs to basically her her whole concept on that is just to basically uh, make sure that she's good to people, make sure she's protecting people, make sure she's watching herself. But at the same time, you know, make sure she's protected. And yeah. that's basically what his whole deal was. Well, he passed away. She was upset. And so she basically went into writing and that's how she became a rapper. She was just trying to, you know, get all her feelings out. And during this time, she has an event that happens to her again and she wow. just can't deal with it. And she's just like all over the place and she has to lean on her baby daddy. And so a lot of females, I know they're like, oh my God, we know my baby daddy. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. But her baby daddy, which is surprising, is a good dude. He actually just got caught up in a bunch of stuff. He just got out of jail. He's been locked up for a couple of years. So he hasn't been around her or her daughter. And so he's trying to make ends meet. He's trying to, yeah. you know, get his family together and he wants to do right. And he uh, gets caught in this only because that he knows the person involved and what she's going through. And he also is um, a stand up guy. He was taught by her dad um, in a center that they had. And he was trying to help young kids and the young guys get right. And that's basically right, what right. it's about. And so him and his guys. Um, her baby daddy's guys are part of this center that they were in. And when she has this issue, they jump to the rescue and they go in and help her with trying to cope and also find out what happened and why things are happening. So it is a, a story about trying to make change in a community and also to help our young people to become responsible adults and to also find their purpose in life. And so mm -hmm. that's basically what they're all going through together. And right, right. they discover along the way that they didn't know that their her dad and his dad actually played a part in trying to make help them with their community and getting mm -hmm. it right. And they right, find that right. out later on. So wow. they're, that's basically what it's about <laughs> in a, in a wow. nutshell. <laughs> and that, that, they have go along the way and they discover a lot of other things as they go on. So Wow, that's wow. very intriguing. And then like how you say it, like, you know, trying to, there's a message within the book that you're trying to yes. trying to get out. And also, you know, you know, there are a lot of young women that's, that's in school and, you know, um, that, you know, get pregnant or have babies while they're still in school. There's also, obviously, unfortunately, there's a lot of dads that's not involved mm -hmm. um, in, in the kid's life with his son, daughter. But obviously, in her case, her dad passed away. But you know, there are a lot of females that grow up without their dad in their mm -hmm. lives, and so it's like, like you said, it could be so relatable. Where they, like it's like, oh, I that's me, or I know somebody like that, or mm -hmm. you know, uh, that's a, you're basically you know showing young people that okay, I made a mistake, but I can turn it around, right? I try to do better. You know what I mean? So right. how you how you how you did that? I think is amazing because you know, in, in the things that I do in my books, I try to share my experiences or make it relatable for like you said for it could be somebody could be like oh that was me or mm -hmm. oh wow like you know I've been through that too you know so I think that's amazing and then um so did you I know you say you're doing poetry did you so happen to throw some poetry within in this book or something <laughs> or, did, did, did you do that <laughs> you read my book haven't you <laughs> <laughs> no. well, I, did, I did try to rap a little bit because that's always been a thing for me like I always wanted to rap but I'm just like right. I don't think it I don't think I'd be able to be 
able to do it as far as like you know right. whatever. but I can write so I figured I was like you know I'm gonna try this so and I did I wrote a little bit you'll see a, a few bars of mine that I've put in here wow. <laughs> so it's kind of interesting I mean I tried my best you know I tried yeah. you know hopefully I, I I um basically did some justice to the hip-hop community but I ain't doing it long term though <laughs> it's not long term no nah. right? nah, that, that's I don't know why you're nothing like that <laughs> <laughs> now that's that's a, that's amazing though you know to even just write a book and then go into the thought of um having a purpose and a meaning within the book to help other people um you know there's so many books you know a number of books that i read that you know the story was relatable to me or my journey at the time and that's what books are supposed to do you know and then you know at, at the same sense of you know i wasn't a big reader growing up you know i wasn't a big fan of reading but then until something catch my attention and it's like, oh, wow, like, you know, this is okay. okay, okay I understand this. I, this mm -hmm. is like my life or, you know, I can relate to this or so how you're doing, that, I think is amazing. And I commend you on that for even okay. writing the book because the time it took for you. So it took years and you came back to it and you had seen it through and now you have your baby now yes. <laughs> and, 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 and w w one of many. So where, where can people find this book, pick this book up, purchase the book, you know, support you. Um, it's actually on Amazon. Um, if you go onto Amazon, you, it's there. I can provide you the link and all that. But yes, it's on Amazon. Um, I also am selling them directly too from me for a few people that if they want autographed copies, I'm doing that too. But right now it's on Amazon and you can purchase. I have ebook and I have paperback. So wow. you know, uh, do, do you, do you have social media where people can reach you at and, and contact you and, you know, get at you and, you know, want to learn more about you or, you know, want to get that autograph purchase? <laughs> sure. I'm on Instagram. I'm at Tasha underscore rights on Instagram. Um, I also have a business page too. You can reach me there. A lot of people get it mixed up, but I, I own both. Um, <laughs> the other one is <laughs> Tasha uh, underscore creates. So um, that's my business page, but either one of those is fine. I'm also on Facebook, um, author Tasha writes on Facebook as well. Excellent. Absolutely. Like, like I said, I'm, I'm definitely excited. I'm definitely going to check out the book. Um, like I said, it just, when I like say, when I read that summer, I was like, wow, this, this it caught my eye, it caught my attention because it's like, this is stuff I either was used to or know or experienced or know people that experienced it. And then, like I said, just the storyline and then, the, the the things is the, the the mystery behind things and you know it's just it's curious so you know like I said I definitely commend you I definitely appreciate your time on coming on the crossover talk show and talking to me Travis Garrison and you know sharing your your um your dream and and your and your baby with us you know and um and how it all came to be and how you persevered and basically kept it together over a number of years by putting it down picking it back up. So basically, you know, you gave confidence and, and, and hopefully you inspired or motivated some other writers out there that maybe had that writer's block or took a time out from their baby and, uh, you know, need to get back to it, too. I hope so, too. That, that's the main goal, really. Um, I hope to, you know, get some other people to, you know, kind of, you know, go. don't give up on your dreams, because that's my big thing. It's like, it took me 20 years to do this, like, and it's still being done. It's like, you can still do it, even if you put it down, just pick it back up. Just don't forget it's there, you know. Go right, ahead absolutely. And it. <laughs> absolutely. That's amazing. That's amazing. Definitely good luck to you. Keep it going. Keep going. Keep going. And then I definitely can't wait to read it and watch the movie when it comes out or the when the movie finally comes out. Hey, don't hey, <laughs> hit me up. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely good luck to you and, and I appreciate your time. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thanks for having me on the show. No, no, thanks for being here. <laughs>